here, two hits, 10 Ks, career high 10 Ks against one of the top offenses on the West Coast. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're definitely a great team, that's for sure. And we knew coming in, coming into this weekend that it was going to be a tough test, and especially after dropping that first game of a doubleheader. I feel like we did a really good job of just flushing it and going out there and really gave them a run for their money in the second game. And what was your thought process going in against them? You know, they're a pretty aggressive uh, team. What were you trying to do? Uh, especially trying to get the guys back to even up the split the doubleheader. Well, I mean, they're definitely great hitters, and we, and we knew that coming in. I just tried to mix speeds the best I could and locate down in the zone, and I was, I was able to go a long way, and our defense played really well, and uh, it's good to see. And I talked a little bit about Coach, but how difficult was it for this weekend? I mean, you last year on Friday, this year on Saturdays. Today you get pushed back to Sunday. Wyatt, you know, goes from being a Friday guy. He warms up a little bit yesterday. Yeah. Now he's on Saturday today. Yeah. I mean, on Sunday today. How tough was it for you guys, just with everything just continually getting pushed back? How was it for you guys to get ready and prepared for a game? Yeah, it's it's definitely different. That's for sure. And like I said, double headers are tough. It's hard to it's hard to get over the result of that first game, win or loss, and. So, yeah, I mean, the, the weather definitely affected us, but then again, it affected both teams. And what it really comes down to is when it's, when it's time to play, the team that executes the best and the team that plays the best and pitches the best and plays defense the best is going to win. So that, that's all we were focused on. And as, uh, you know, the weather might change and all that stuff, but... Our, our game plan and our approach to the game, it, it doesn't change. What do you think last year, you know, sometimes you pitched pretty well and didn't get any run support. Today you get 16 runs, 16 hits behind you. I'm sure that you didn't mind that at all. I didn't mind that one bit. It's uh, I, I was telling our hitters once I was out of the game, I was just I was saying thank you to each and every one of them. It's, it's pretty easy and it's really comfortable to pitch with a six-run lead and then a 10-run lead and then a 16-run lead. It's nice to see them throwing up crooked numbers up there. And how good to feel to see the bullpen coming in behind you and complete the shutout because I know you want to get that shutout. Yeah, I mean, it felt great. We know that we have a deep bullpen, and that's the change from, from last year to this year. Uh, our, our bullpen depth is great, and sometimes Coach Hubs has a problem with who does he who does he go to just because we have so many options, and that I think that's a really good problem to have. And Jeremy Martinez, uh, freshman, is kind of a little bit become your personal catcher since he's catching on Saturdays. Uh, what have you thought about having him behind the plate so far? Well, he's doing a great job, and he's going to be in the lineup because of his bat, and we know that, and it's it's going to save. Stubby's legs, which is nice as well, but it's it's great to have two just quality options back there. It's, it's another good problem to have. And you guys off to eight and two starts. Uh, how do you keep it going forward? Uh, same same approach. Just uh, keep, continue to put the work in and let the chips fall as they may.